to the crew, but a pelt is recovering in hospital from rather serious head injuries. Well, that happened in the third run, and this is how the leading positions stood after that run. Switzerland 2, with driver Hans Hildebrand, led the competition, but East Germany 1 had cut their lead to just 0.31 of a second. Switzerland 1 was third, and Great Britain 1, led by Nick Phipps, well, they were a rather disappointing eighth before the final run. So, we join our commentator, Tony Gubber. Anton Fischer in West Germany 2. Just over half a second off the bronze medal place in fourth position with this final descent now. 5.11 his push start. So neither of his two runs today have been as quick as he was on the first day of competition. The tendency with these sleds is for the nose to keep wanting to go up and the driver all the time trying to pull it back down but not too soon as possibly the Austrian Appelt did when he suffered the crash earlier. One minute, 6.2 seconds total time, 4 minutes, 24.52 for Fischer, and that will probably not be good enough to move him into the medal positions. silver medal last weekend what here for Hans Hildebrand who led at the halfway stage and still leads going into this final run it's away in 5.11 seconds the second quickish push start of this fourth descent but he saw his lead eroded after the third run here earlier today and will know that he can't allow too much time to elapse and the crew behind him really tucking down tight Fastest man at this stage. He'll go through the clock, 134 kilometers. Just over 83 miles an hour for Hilterbrand. Well, he did a time of one minute 5.3 on his first run in this competition, and it's another one minute and five seconds, this time 5.96. First place in four minutes, 22 seconds then for Hilterbrand. The other sleds have got to come down, but they really will have to improve dramatically if they're to dislodge him from top spot. And Wolfgang Hoppe in East Germany 1 will know that he's got to improve on Hildebrand's time by just over four tenths of a second if he's to improve from second place, which he occupies at the start of this fourth and final run. 28.63, only fourth quickest at that stage. Through Tree and Shamrock. The speed picking up all the time. Awkward little kink through the dike, then tree and a short straight before they flash under bridge. 134.9, so he's been really quick, 84 miles an hour plus. One minute, 5.81. Well, Hoppy's given it a good shot, but that's not quick enough. That'll keep him in second place in silver medal position, though. But that doesn't challenge Hiltebrand's gold. Pickler in Switzerland 1 was a full second behind his teammate Hiltebrand after the third run and there's no way that he can make up that sort of time here but that's a really quick start 5.08 that's the quickest start we've seen so he's giving it every go is Pickler but it really would be remarkable if he could shave a full second off the time achieved by Hiltebrand heads of the crew not quite in as good alignment as we saw from these Germans who came down earlier Hundred and thirty three point five that's just 83 miles an hour so he's a little bit slower and that's reflected in the finishing time one minute six point seven seconds four minutes twenty three point seven six but good enough for third place and the bronze medals 
so still eight. A little bit disappointing, I think, for Nick Phipps, who was trying desperately to improve on that on his third run. And now this fourth and final descent, 5.13 seconds. Well, that's the seventh quickest so far. So Bob Thorne, another former decathlete, Alan Cairns and Sammy Leons have got Phipps away to a fairly good start. And now it depends on what this 34-year-old former English international decathlete can achieve on this drive. His final run in this four-man competition. Well, it's a good run, 52.3. Fourth quickest of this fourth descent, 133.3. Again, it's about 83 miles an hour as Leon's breaks. And one minute, 6.15. What a good time that is by Nick Phipps. And that has moved the British crew up into sixth place. And already they're out of the sled, looking at the clock and starting to celebrate. And so confirmation of another terrific British performance, finishing sixth, Switzerland two taking the gold. East Germany won the silver and Switzerland won the bronze. But for the second week running, a British bobsleigh crew finishes sixth in world competition. Well, the attention